Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Bogey Golf Channel. We are here today at Wharton Park Golf Club. I've been here once before a long, long time ago. Stunning course. There's some holes that are absolutely beautiful, especially in the summer, but I think you guys will enjoy it. 18 holes, course vlog. Let's see how low we can go, but I've not played for about three weeks, so let's see what we can do. All right, here we go, hole one, par five. Fairly straight hole. I'm hitting two iron. Let's see if we can start as we mean to go on here. It's a good strike, just a little bit right. Oh, cart path. Do you know what? I am actually okay with that. Right, so we actually ended on the cart path, so I'm gonna take relief. No closer to the hole, so it is so muddy. <laughs> There's a clump of mud on the ball. Incredible scenes. Right, I'm gonna take a nine iron because I need to go over these trees and then that should give us a yardage onto the green here. It's a good swing, took a little bit of a kick left. Yeah, and I think it's plugged. It's like a nasty kick from the branch there, but good strike, good strike. Right, the ball was plugged, which means we get to place it. But yes, we are royally blocked out here. But I'm liking my chances with those branches. 140 out. Oh my God, squelching underfoot. Today is going to be a challenge. Oh, the best strike ever. Listen, we're progressing. We're progressing. We're back on the fairway. So it's lift and place on the fairway. So lift and place we shall. Let's see if we can get off fields with the wedges, the early doors. Oh yes, we like that. We like that. <laughs> Believe me, I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> okay, we're dancing. We're dancing. Okay, we've got a sniff at par here. Easily 30 feet, so two put bogey would be would be enormous, let's be honest. I suppose this is where I say, oh the greens are slow today, aren't they? Um, <laughs> we've given ourselves quite the knee knocker to start. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Those first few swings were feeling ropey. Warming up on the tee box. Listen, we've all been there. Bogey start. Let's go, short par four coming up next. Very tempting to hit driver, but I'm trying my best to card something respectable today. And relatively speaking, go low. So we're gonna hit a five iron, hopefully find us a fairway and give us a really good, really good look at the green. Oh my word. Trajectory on that for a five iron is sublime. That's probably plugged in the middle of the fairway, but <laughs> boys and girls will take it. It's good to find the center of the club face, especially with the long irons. Come on. Okay, maybe, maybe not the center of the fairway, but it was a blind shot into the fairway. So cut me some slack. Do you know what? I'm actually not mad about this. Today, hitting out the rough is tenfold better than on the fairway. So here we go. That's lovely. <laughs> did, you, did you see the follow through on that as well? I mean, come on, come on. Little tweak and there's a bit of confidence, a glimmer in my eye, if you will. So come on, we've got a birdie foot and it's not a bad look, people. This green feels particularly spongy in comparison to the last one. So I think this is gonna roll a little bit slower. Ah, that's probably out of frame, hopefully not. But it's not actually awful for pace. We've got about four feet for the par. Rounds are either lost or won for me. I either sink these or I just really struggle with sort of five feet. Come on. That is huge. That, 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 is, that is quite enormous. 
Listen, it's good to be back on the golf course. Weather has been awful, so apologies for the radio silence. Lack of content, uh, admittedly. So I'll, uh, I'll try my best to, uh, to pick it back up. The weather, hopefully, seems like it's getting a little bit better here in the UK. So the content shall keep on rolling. And that's what the golf is as well. Bogey fast start, huge. Right, hole number three, our first par three of the day. And it's actually, in the summer, this is a beauty. In the winter, obviously, the leaves have all fallen off the trees. I remember playing this, I think, last spring, and it was like, wow. A couple of the holes today are absolutely stunning. We're off the mat, which is, you know, no one likes to hit off the mat, but it is what it is. I'm gonna take nine. It's a lovely strike. Just a little bit left. Do you know what? I love to see a draw on the ball. It's actually just off the green. I love to see a draw shape, especially with irons. Right, we hate to see this. From the, from the tee box, it actually looked like this was the green. It's a temporary hole. You guys in the US, or even anywhere else, won't even know what I'm talking about. It's essentially a pin <laughs> on the false front. So much pressure on this coming close because putting on that is an absolute travesty. Yeah, I mean, not great, not awful. Have I got confidence in myself putting? So now we've got about 15 feet putting on a fairway. Push me luck. <laughs> I was gonna tap it in with my wedge, but I do not want to take that risk. Anyway, and there's a bogey. We'll wait for the greenkeeper to pass. So I don't believe we've got any more temporary greens. Um, at least when I rang up yesterday, they didn't have any. So I think this must have been cut out today. So yeah, hopefully no more of those. But listen, it's a bogey. We'll count it as a bogey. Um, I feel like we could have got closer if it was on the green. So on to the third, let's go. Mighty, hole number four. It's a par four. It's one of the tougher holes on the course. Big old dog leg, big old sling to the left. And it's a long hole as well, so you need Need a good tee shot. I feel like I say this all the time, you need a good tee shot, but <laughs> it's the name of the game, right? Taking driver, no hiding. Do you know what? That is actually really good. Oh, we'll take that. First driver swing of the day. Where's the tee? First driver swing of the day. And she was straight, just a little bit pushed flirting with OB, but I will take this tee shot all day in the right rough here. I've got a bit of a funky stance because I basically have to stand on the cart path here. We've got about 170 middle. I'm going to hit a six. Oh dear. Uh, I'm not actually sure what happened. It's a great strike. Yeah, just missed the green by miles. Somehow all my, all my weight shifted to the back foot there. But you know what? Hell of a strike. Probably good for yardage, but we're way off. Going to have to do some chipping magic. Some wedge magic is required now to save this hole. But you know what? Not too unhappy with the ball striking. Do you know what? In fairness, it actually wasn't as bad as it looked from over there. We nearly, we nearly pitched in the greenside bunker, so it can't have been that far off. Anyway, so we've got a bit of work now. Now sit. Oh, hit the pin. A oh, little bit aggressive, but <laughs> we nearly hold out. Not blading it across the green or into the bunker is actually a win, believe it or not. <laughs> Welcome to Bogey Golf. I like the way this sort of lines up for me. Uphill, left to right, so I can give this a good old run. Come on, Dennis. Oh. I thought she might, she might just sneak in at the side door. All in all, not the worst hole. And we're in for a five. We move on to the next. Right, hole number five. Fairly straight and short par four here. So I liked what I saw, I liked, <laughs> I cannot speak today. I liked what I saw with that last drive. So 
We're going to stay aggressive today. Let's just see if we can get her working and get the driver working in our favour here. Okay, so she's a little bit on the slicer side, but I saw it bounce. That could be a fair way, believe it or not. And not far off the middle. <laughs> right, fair way we did find. The mud ball is building up a significant amount of mud here. The ball is slightly above my feet here. Um, pin is right at the back of the green, 140 yards to the middle. I'm gonna hit a nine because it's slightly downhill as well. So I think that will pay in our favor here. Oh, it's a bit thin. Not my best, be big enough. I think just short, yeah, just not my best swing. Felt a little bit stiff on that one, boys and girls. Came up short, bearing in mind we had all the green to work with, less than ideal. Kind of gonna try like a hip to hip, a hip to hip sort of extension, if you will. Let's see what we can do here. It's not, not, it's not, not too bad, is it? It's not awful. I'm just liking how a wedge feels in my hand at the moment. You know, I just have so much more confidence. And I think, I think with short games, so much of it is confidence. Listen, I'm walking up to the ball. I've left myself easily at least 20 feet for this putt, but <laughs> it's mad. And it must probably sounds insane that I actually am very, well, not very happy, but I'm actually happy with that. The ball kind of did what I wanted it to do. I probably should have took less loft. A good putt. That's <laughs> that is a great putt. Oh my god, the speed! Yeah, you won't find me complaining. Another bogey. Oh, I should have sank. Should have sank. The scenes, the jubilation that would have unfolded if that ball dropped. But listen, we move with another bogey. Like I said, anything around bogey golf for me is huge. The channel may be called Bogey Golf, but I am certainly by no means a bogey golfer. So, right, hole number six, par four, dog leg to the left. Not the longest hole ever, but I'm gonna stay aggressive. We're still gonna hit driver here. I feel like a good drive here reaps significant rewards, so. Get over. Yeah, that'll be okay. <laughs> that was flirting with that hill, but we got over, so it should have run out. Bad. Get on. Yes, he called it. Unfortunately, looks can be deceiving. It's solid, solid 15, <laughs> 15 feet off the green here. So we've got work to do, people. We've got some work to do. Something like that. Okay, all right. Put for par. Come on. Got a little bit of rear action cam so you can admire the stroke. Fairly straight. I mean, the putt was great. The putt was unbelievably smooth, silky, everything. Bad read. I mean, you guys will have had a better vantage point. I, it looked like it slightly broke to the right. Maybe I pushed it, but listen, another bogey. Right, here we go, hole number seven. Very, very interesting hole. Lovely t-shirt, it kind of opens up. You've got a bit of marsh put between you and the fairway. Dog left to the left, downhill. It's a beautiful, beautiful hole. Oh my goodness, a draw that arguably the best drive I've ever hit. Genuinely the best drive I've ever hit. Here we go, 80 yards to the middle. Really good chance here. That drive deserves, deserves some reward. Here we go. Oh, Dennis. Dennis! 
<laughs> Let's go! Oh God, three weeks out of the game, grinding at the range. It is good to be back. I think that's a perfect time to uh, just say thank you to you guys. The channel is growing very quickly. We're approaching 5K. Tell your friends, tell your family, smash the subscribe button. We are so, so close. I still can't believe people tune in to watch me playing golf. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Honestly, it's so, so appreciated. I just love coming out to play anyway. So the fact that I can film content that you guys a joy is yeah still blows my mind but yeah we've got a put for birdie smash that like button smash the subscribe button people <sighs> come on we're golfing we are golfing up the hill right to left but not loads ah oh, it's a great effort you know didn't really break as much right nice comfortable three four feet for par these are the kind of looks we want to give ourselves all day. Come on, on to the next. Right, hole number eight, uphill, little short, short little nipper of a par three. Yeah, you hate to see it. It's another, it's another temporary tee box here, but we move. That is thin. Oh my God. If that's on the green then, I won't complain, but very, very undeserved. When it's your day, it's your day. Like I said, I'm not gonna complain at all. Come on, let's put it close. Oh, what a pot. <sighs> not enough juice, but I think the line was actually okay. Let's put you guys in the heart, in the, in the mouth of the action here. We've got another, a bit of a knee wobbler for par. Yeah, these are the ones, these are the ones that... So far today, actually, I've been, I've been quite good in this range. So let's ride the confidence. Don't think too much about it. Center of the club, give it enough speed. <whistles> Talked myself into that one, didn't I? Bogey. Right, hole number nine, par five, an absolute monster, 550 yards. Yep, big old boy, so absolutely no questions asked. It's got to be driver. Big rescue shot coming up here. Gone for the two iron because it's sat up relatively okay. So I'm thinking a smooth, smooth two iron and get us down there. It's a par five, so we've got strokes to play with here. Oh, that's not my best. It's not my best, but it'll work. All right, seven iron, rescue to sort of get us back in position here. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. Come on. Caught the down slope. Come on. 117 front, 133 middle. Yeah, it's got to be a pitching wedge. No prizes for being short. Oh my God, what a golf shot. <laughs> Come on. I love that swing. That just, you know, sometimes you hit it, it just feels nice. Held the follow through. Come on. Put for far keep the doubles and triples off the scorecard. In fact, I don't think I've ever played around without a double bogey. And if my maths is correct, I haven't got one yet. Ah, uh, bad read and a bad putt. Nowhere near enough on it. Big putt here. <laughs> okay, still no double bogeys. Right, hole number 10, par three, 116 yards. Um, I'm gonna take gap wedge because there's a little bit of elevation loss. Oh, Dennis, great swing, just way left and massive. 
Uh oh, we're scrambling from there. All right, unfortunately the mist is even worse from where we are. You can't even see the pin, it's just tucked to the right behind those trees. So unfortunately, all I can do here is just pitch, pitch onto the green here on the left. So that's what we're gonna do. Yep. Oh, we've got such a friendly bounce there. Oh, that's unbelievable. 15 feet for par? It's definitely not me, but who would have thought the short game would be the thing saving me on a, on a golf course? <laughs> Insane turn of events. Big old putt coming up. Come on, right to left. We saw what the ball did after it pitched on. So it's gonna swing. Let's trust the line here. When I tell you I had the line, I had the line. Yes, the ball is filthy, but um, we're not on the PGA Tour here. Save bogey. Steady golf today, steady golf, and I'm not mad about it. Right, hole number 11, par four, about 290 odd yards off the current tees. Unfortunately, we're on this box again. It's not really a driver hole because all sorts of trouble comes into play. So I'm going to hit a five iron. This would be a two iron tee shot for me, but I struggle to tee up with low tees on these, on these mats. So it's a five iron, should be plenty enough. Ooh, didn't want to draw it really. It'll be fine, but yeah, hitting accidental draws here. <laughs> Not too mad about it, it's a shame it started left. So if that started right, it would have been money, but I was expecting more of a straight flight and if anything, a fade. So the shot shape is all over the place today, but I am not complaining. Short hole so we can attack the green. 132 yards out of the slime. Here we go, pitching wedge in hand. I think that's good. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Might not pick up on camera and apologies, the greenkeeper behind me is absolutely going for it, but maybe didn't really deserve a fist bump, but I think any time I hit the green in regulation, let's just say there's cause to celebrate whenever I hit the green in reg. But it is a put for birdie nonetheless. Right to left. Now break. The speed control, if nothing else, the speed control is on flames today. That was a great putt, just awful read. The lack of green reading prowess. I tend to over, I tend to over read putts. It's, <laughs> it's, as soon as I see right to left, I think, okay, yeah, two cups out to the right, but it's definitely uh, not the laws of Definitely not the way the laws of the physics uh, work. Anyway, so much waffling today. Apologies, people. Oh, it was literally two seconds ago I said about overreading ports. There was no right to left in that. Zero right to left. Three foot port, just ram it in the hole, Dennis. Absolute donkey. But it is a bogey, so listen. Move on to the next. Hole number 12, par five, downhill like crazy. Standing on the tee box, you can tell. On the drone, you probably can't. But yeah, downhill, dog leg to the left. Um, and because of the downhill nature, I don't think we need driver here. Oh, Dennis. I've struggled, admittedly, today. I have struggled, that would have been perfect. Tell you what, my practice swing would be on tour. Sludge under my feet, the worst lie of all bad lies here. I would take less loft here, but I need to just sort of hack this out. Seven iron in hand. I did well, I actually did well not to cover myself in mud there, so there's a win. Right, we made it to the fairway. As you can, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a massive uphill climb to the hole here. So I'm going to take a six iron. Oh, 
Oh, that was bad. That was very, very bad. Oh, Dennis. And that is exactly what happens when you try to hit the ball harder than you should. Nothing good ever, ever comes of it. You could argue we've got quite lucky here. I mean, we've got, we're hitting off the side of Mount Everest, but I don't think I can complain too much. We've got almost a line to the flag here. 110 yards. Gonna hit a gap wedge here. Ball above feet, it's gonna come out left. Come on, Dennis. Oh, nowhere near big enough. It's good though, it did come out left. I don't think it had enough on it, it came out a little bit. A few grooves on the high side, so I think I got underneath it a little bit, but it's a good rescue shot, it's a good save. It's par five, like I said, and I think our next shot is our fifth. So let's see if we can get up and down, up and down and save a bogey. Right, we're refueling and taking on some chocolate on board. Get the blood sugar rushing through our veins once again. I mean, short sided chip here. Nothing more, nothing less. Gonna have to go upstairs, maybe even land it on the fringe. That would be perfect. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. Oh. Mm. Mm. I suppose at least we're on the green. It's a good chip shop, but just awful distance control. <laughs> I suppose I've worked so hard on actually getting underneath the ball, getting it airborne. I suppose the next step is how far it actually goes. Work in progress though. I am, believe it or not, not too unhappy about that. Right, this is well and truly in double bogey territory here. We've got this for our bogey. Let's go, let's give it a good run here. Oh, Dennis, these are not quick greens, but I'm playing them like the Rapido. Come on. Do you know what? The putter today, no complaints really. Um, the putter's behaving. It's just some of those first putts, I'm just leaving them so short, not even scaring the hole. So that's on me. But anything out inside 10 feet today, it's been on fire. Right, hole number 13, par four, 411 yards. However, it's playing a lot longer than that. It's all uphill pretty much after the tee shot. So, needs to be a good one. That is slice and dice. Back on the fairway, we just came up. Well, that'll be okay, actually. <laughs> Funny enough, the last time I played this course, I did the exact same thing and came out with a par, so. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> I mean, you could say I found a fairway. Um, worst joke ever told. Right, okay, seven iron in hand. Just get it back up there. Oh no, it's a little bit. Oh dear, it's not a good angle that. Not a good strike. Right, my eyesight must be getting worse. I thought I was way in there on the left, but actually, found the left side rough of our original fairway, so you won't find me complaining. We've got about 80 yard, 80 yard shot here. It would be a full gap wedge, a full lob wedge, but I'd, all of a sudden I've, I quite like sort of feeling these yardages with my 54 instead. So here we go. <laughs> I nearly dumped it on my head. That was a wedge shot, by the way. That could be close. That could be close. That felt really nice. Not much in this at all. So let's learn from our mistakes. <sighs> Again, a little bit shy, but better. Another bogey. Hole 14, lovely hole. Yeah, one of my favorites down here. Beautiful tee shot. But then what you've got is a nice little dog leg to the left, a couple of fairway bunkers, but nothing crazy on this hole, so. Oh dear, that's right. Yeah, saw it down. Oh dear, that's two slices swings in a row. <laughs> I've walked here with 54. Um, you could argue I could probably take a more aggressive club, but we're in damage limitation now. I'm just going to hack it over these trees and get us back into play. 
Jesus, it's sludgy as anything here. Oh, that is not the line. Oh, that could be in trouble. That could be bang in trouble. Right, um, so we're gonna take a drop. That should be fine. Got 105 to the pin here. Gap wedge. Oh dear. Fat. Go. Oh, not pretty at all that. Not pretty at all. Oh, Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Right, we came up embarrassingly short. Little 54 dink. Just needed a little bit more, didn't it? Good little chip though, do you know what? A good little chip. I just need to get on the chipping green and stop practicing how far I take it back for what distances because at the minute, it's very much a guessing game and I'm getting a little bit, little bit hurt because the chips are good, contacts are good. Just the distance. Mammoth put to save us a double bogey. Get in. I've not had much luck with these um, last minute breakers, have I? Skirted around the hole and that is our first triple of the round. Right, here we go, this is it, hole 15, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna try my best to get the, uh, the undulation change into the drone shot here. Absolutely stunning, over the valley and the raised green at the end. The only unfortunate thing is that I'm hitting off a mat. Kind of ruins the, the fantasy here, but. Nonetheless, we have to put a good swing on this. I've got eight iron in hand. Oh yes, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Let's go. Middle of the green, little bit of backspin. Oh, I love golf so, so much. Oh, the one hole I wanted to have a good t-shirt on. Come on, it's huge for the confidence. That is as good as I can hit an eight iron. Not much in it. An edge of right to left. Go! Oh my God. Such a good port. Oh, that's a shame. That hurts. That does hurt. I've just found a ball in the cup already. And it definitely wasn't mine. <laughs> How can you leave a ball in the cup anyway? A par and a ball found. Two up on this hole. Right, hole number 15. As you can see by the drone, it's one of those holes where it's all about the tee shot to set up the approach. Big old dog leg, 90 degrees to the left, and then you're hitting over water to the green. So, lovely hole, um, but needs an accurate tee shot. I'm going to hit pitching wedge just up on the top of that hill, hopefully. Yeah, that should be good. That swing felt lovely. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Quite sludgy underfoot, so we'll try and try our best not to slip here. We've got 150 yards to the middle. It's set up nicely for an eight iron approach here. Come on. It's a lovely golf swing. It's a little bit to the right. I think you just see yeah, long and right, but it's a lovely swing. Not the worst position in the world, to be fair. Little up and down test now. Again, <laughs> great pitch, but uh, nowhere near, way off the pace. Get in. Oh. You're joking. Right, tiny bit of work to save bogey here. Never in doubt. And a tidy little hole there, to be honest. On to the next. 260 yard par four. It looks a hell of a longer way than 260, probably because it's uphill. I'm hitting driver. Let's see what we can do here. That is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Hook along the floor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you guys always say, why don't you hit driver? Why don't you hit driver? Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Let's just put it that way. Um, luckily for me today, because the rough is 
for the most part, cut nice and short. I'm not really having balls go, I'm not really losing balls or anything like that. So we're getting away with it. But my God, I just, the driver for me, I don't know what it is. Right, Jesus. I mean, the shortest part for on the course, easiest hole probably on the course, and I'm hacking out the trees. Um, anyway, we're gonna have to sort of work some magic now. Seven iron sort of under the trees and get it sort of hooking back up to the hole. That's all we've got now. Oh, I've topped it. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. 94 yards, 54 at least we can attack the green from here. Oh. I get this weird twinge in my left wrist. It's like a shit, I wouldn't say it's a shooting pain, but on a backswing every now and, get, now and then I get this shooting pain that shoots down my arm all the way to my fingertips. And I had it then. That's probably not why it was a bad shot, but it's ever so weird when it happens. I don't know if anyone else has that. Let me know in the comments if that's like a medical condition I should be worried about. Okay, okay, well, scarily short, but we can get a little bit more aggressive with this swing here. So let's call it chest to chest. I rush that downswing so much. Oh dear, we move. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this video. It's been a slog. It's not nice when it's this wet and sloppy, but listen, I love coming out and playing golf anyway. It's been a bit of a grind, this back nine. Performance is dropping off a little bit. We're low on, low on fuel, but uh, listen, we move. Let's see if we can finish this off. Hopefully nothing worse than a double. And then maybe even sneak, sneak something like a par on the last. Oh, that's a good pot. Yeah. I am not too unhappy with that. We've got a solid look now for double, which sounds horrendous, but it's what we're working with. Come on, Dennis. Right, we move. We move, okay. Double bogey, I mean, that could have been a lot worse. Like I said earlier, those are the kind of holes before where it could be like quadruple, tens, double digits on the board. Um, but we've avoided those today so far. One more hole to go. It's been an up and down round, but overall, very, very good scoring for me. Like I said, operating under my handicap at the moment. So that's always a good place to be. On to hole 18, let's get it. Right people, hole number 18, beautiful. Another stunning hole, all plays downhill in a big way, you've got water and the final approach to green. So there's a little bit of everything going on. I've had enough of driver today. Um, it's not behaving quite the way I want it to. So we've gone back to the default, back to two iron, which ironically also hasn't behaved today. It's normally the trusty tea club, so. For right. Didn't hear trees. Oh, we'll have to see what we're working with. I really wanted to finish this hole by hitting fairways. Um, yeah, the swing has deteriorated rapidly throughout this round. I'm um, not sure what to blame other than fatigue and concentration, but this is golf. Right, I mean, <laughs> I've come here with three different clubs for three different type of shots. I don't think I can get over these, unfortunately, which would have been the preferred option. I'm going to have to go low and through that gap, unfortunately. So, seven iron it is. Oh, that is, when I say that was perfect, that was money. One hanging down branch killed the absolute life out of that ball. Have a look at this branch. Have a look at what we are working with. That strike was absolutely perfect. Perfect trajectory straight. And we hit this. All this space, all this space. And we hit that, <laughs> this game. So anyway, similar shot again. Um, the approach is just way too long even still. Yeah, that'll do. Not quite as good as the second. Come on, Dennis, let's finish the day with a nice golf swing here. Oh dear, get me in that clubhouse. 
Okay, right, 135 now. Come on, nice pitching wedge number. Oh, horrible swing. It's gonna work out, but. I mean, we're on the green, but I'm at the point now where I'm struggling, it's not even my own divot, but we'll, we'll do our best to repair it. I'm at the point now where struggling to remember the last good golf swing, unfortunately. Putting for double bogey wasn't how I envisaged closing off this video, but it is what it is. It's not a bad putt. Oh, that's a great roll. Great roll. We're moving, we're moving with a lot more confidence on the greens now. And I suppose, and around the greens for the most part today, short game and putting has been okay. There's been a lot of two putts going on, few three putts, but nowhere near as many as I used to get. Triple bogey and adding up the score. Hopefully I've been counting my strokes okay, but we finished with a 43 front nine, 49 back nine, and a 21 over par. So again, way, way under my handicap. So we're heading in the right direction. 92, so we broke 95 people. Maybe I should change. I think from this point on, it's no more break 100. I think I'm in a place now where I can comfortably break 95. I didn't play my best today. Awful back nine, and we, we were on track to break 90. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button. Most of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would go a hell of a long way. Get me to 5K. Until next time, people, thanks for watching.